this project has had many challenges in the fact that a traditional carousel is a suspended carousel and the ship is clearly not designed for a suspended carousel, so we've had a lot of challenges on how to re-engineer the carousel so it works on the ship. Well, it started out really simple, but then everything got more complicated. Now we're into harmonics and <laughs> things we never have to worry about. We just put the we just put it down, usually just put them down on a cement pad and turn them on. The big difference of putting the carousel on the ship versus a carousel on land and why we need to get all the creeping and crawling noises out is that a carousel on land is sitting on a, on the slab. People come by, they ride it, a lot of ambient noise, but people don't live around it. On the ship, we have it sitting on the deck, and there is a restaurant underneath, there are venues around it, and it's sitting on a steel deck, and steel transfers every little bit of noise. We also did endurance testing. We had 24 adults ride the carousel for a pretty lengthy period of time. We did incline testing. Right. We wanted to make sure that should the ship be tilting, that the carousel would maintain operations and not get loose. So we did a five degree angle and we rode it for a day and a half. And it, it, it did great. The stabilization system in the center worked great.